Hi from Solar Cam. My name is Brandon. I'm the technician here and if you're watching this video it's probably over replacing an inverter. We have a couple different models. This first one here is the DS3. If you have to replace this, these are the steps that you should take. The first thing you're going to notice on your map is the location of the bad inverter. And let's say you found it. And one of the ways you can find it is by the serial number up here at the top. I usually go off the last four. That's what I would notify you with. And the first step would be taking the serial number off of the new inverter. There's a sticker here as you'd see and you would inform me what this new serial number is so I can replace it with the old one on my computer system. As far as the physical part of this goes you will receive a couple disconnect tools. One is for the inverter trunk line, one is for the solar panel itself. First things first is you want to make sure that the whole system is shut off usually at the breaker panel or at the disconnect. The next thing once it's powered down, you'll insert this tool here and that should release it, allowing that to pop off. Once that's off, you will then use this tool which disconnects the panels themselves from the inverter. They slide on like so and then just slide out like so. Okay, so once that is done, there's either a half inch socket, which I like on my drill, or it'll be a 5 16 screw that holds the inverter to the uh, array itself. You'll loosen it up, slide everything out, put the new one back on, plug and play just the way you took it out, fire the system back on, let me know right away, I can get it updated in my computer, and then you should see green lights producing back to normal.